Hey, what's going on? Coach McCann's here. Pro Power Performance, Dot Fit, Team Beach Body. Um, here to talk about what has happened, I guess, this week. I've had at least two people, I'm not going to say clients, but um, what, is, what, what I always see as a common practice and I think is a common mistake amongst young athletes. If you're an athlete, you should not train like a bodybuilder. And if you're a bodybuilder, I don't think you should train like an athlete. Because what you're doing to the muscle, you're looking for two different kind of gains. Now, speaking from the athletic realm, you want muscle density, muscle strength versus muscle size. All my career, all my life, they oh, we're gonna put some weight on you. You got a big frame, we're gonna put, you know, we're gonna make you a tight end. Now, considering how I was taught to lift through the bigger, faster, stronger program, it never happened. Uh, the biggest I've ever gotten uh, as far as college or size, I got up to about 207. I'm roughly 6'3", 6'4". Um, and the coaches, I ate like a horse. I can eat four or five plates. You can ask anybody on O-line. Um, but I never gained muscle size. I got strong as a monster, which I needed because I was playing a tight end at a Division One AA school um, at 205 pounds at the most. Now, currently, I am 225. Why? Because I changed how I lift. Now, I lift more like a fitness model, more like a bodybuilder versus trying to gain strength in muscle mass. So, let me say that again. A common practice in what I see, and then even still, I think what it was basically for me, I ran into two parents, and I'm like, you know, tell your kid to train with me a lacrosse guy and a football guy, and the parents are bodybuilders. The parents are former bodybuilders, and they're two different worlds. Bodybuilding doesn't involve explosion. Bodybuilding really doesn't involve strength. Uh, you'll be surprised to find many bodybuilders are not strong. Basically, what they're doing is building and puffing up the muscle. They're loading up the cells to make themselves look bigger. Has nothing to do with explosion and strength and density, what you want as an athlete, especially an athlete that's playing a collision sport. What I try to tell all my clients is that that's your armor. The muscle is your armor. That is what's protecting you from getting injured. Because once you break the bone, guaranteed, you're out six weeks, six months, something like that nature. It depends on the break, depending on where the break is. But you're out. You bruise a muscle, two weeks, three weeks, and then you back at it. Even if still, depending on what level you are, you may not take out, take off at all. It may just ice, ice you up every day and just re, you know hold back some reps. That's about it, um, especially in the pro level. But it's two different practices. I would suggest, like I say, find a trainer. If not an, a professional athlete, because just because they're a professional athlete doesn't mean they know how to train or they can coach you. But at the same time, they've gone through some things most people have. And it's not fitness training either. I've had at least two trainers try to take me through a fitness workout. And I'm like, that's it's candy. Especially for, for some of the things that I've already done. And then the places I was trying to go far as getting faster, maintaining my strength, um, and just being explosive. Because once you reach the pro level, it's about maintaining so you don't fall off. Because you got the young guys coming up and they're just as good, if not better, and they're cheaper. But that's a whole other thing. So, parents, who's ever watching this video, athletes, you must train like an athlete. Speed explosion bone and muscle density that's what you're looking for you need to protect yourself because you're competing you're beating the ground up you're getting hit you're hitting people if you're lifting for bodybuilding that's on a whole nother level you're looking to pump the muscle up you're looking to make the muscle look good so that was pretty much what i saw this past week i had two parents so i was like okay they're training their children like bodybuilders so if you're training like a bodybuilder and you play lacrosse, don't expect many gains, but 
to look big. And if you're playing football and you're training like a bodybuilder, don't expect many gains except to look like a muscle, like like, like a muscle, uh, a, a bodybuilder. And then on another note, if you do gain that muscle too fast <clears throat> or at a rapid rate and you're not working on your stretching and you're not exploding and you're not running, you will get worse. If you gain five to 10 pounds over a summer of muscle, don't expect to be fast. Don't even expect to really be strong or explosive. You may be bigger, you may look good, but don't expect those same gains. It's a process of teaching the muscle how to grow, building density while working on your speed, your agility, your explosion, okay? So, I'm Coach McCants. That is my word for the day. A common mistake that I see quite often in many gyms and in many children, uh, I should say many young athletes. They're looking at these muscle magazines and saying, oh, well, the coach told me to get bigger, so this is the way to do it. Yes and no. So, talk to me. Send me emails. Um, you know, you can find me, Ashburn, Virginia. Uh, always email, text, building a website. Um, you can find me on facebook.com slash Coach McCants. I will be adding another... Um, Facebook as well where I can I have to add more friends I've maxed out on my Darnarian McCants site now I'm going to be Darnarian McCants the athlete personal trainer okay later <laughs>